Why is nobody talking about all the incredible open world games on Xbox Game Pass? I always hear about open world games on PlayStation and Nintendo, but there's a whole universe of adventures waiting for you on Game Pass. And if you don't know about them, you might be missing out. So let's get this countdown started with a game that's as bonkers as it is brilliant. Goat Simulator 3. Yes, hear me out people. Have you ever wanted to be a goat? No? Well, you actually should because Goat Simulator 3 is a madcap dream in the best possible way. Imagine Grand Theft Auto, but instead of being a badass criminal, you're a goat causing absolute mayhem. Don't worry about any of the other games in the franchise, just skip on to the third installment. As the game kicks off with a hilarious nod to Skyrim and then lets you loose in San Angora, a map that's basically built to be broken. Sounds good, right? You can run around solo, but the real fun begins when you team up with friends for some truly insane multiplayer shenanigans. Trust me, you haven't lived until you've played soccer with explosive battles as a crazy ass goat. Next up we have Starfield. Now this might be a bit controversial as some people thought it was a hit and some people thought it was a miss, but Bethesda's massive RPG that had us all waiting for what felt like forever eventually arrived last year. This game might not be like Skyrim in space, but it comes pretty close. So Starfield lets you explore a vast array of planets. Sure, you'll be fast traveling a lot, which can break the immersion a bit and is the one thing of the game I hated, the constant loading screens, but the character customization, gunplay, and companions more than make up for it on your adventure. Plus, the main story is surprisingly good and engaging once you get stuck into it. Just stick with it as it can take a little while for it to get its teeth into you. So gear up and get ready to explore the stars with Starfield. I am Batman. No, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm Murray actually. But coming in at number eight is Batman Arkham Knight, Rocksteady's Arkham series that set the bar for superhero games. And if you think it didn't, just check yourself because it really did. These games are incredible. And Arkham Knight is the fantastic finale to the series. You get to explore Gotham City and all its dark, atmospheric glory. The storytelling, environmental design and combat are top notch in this game. And yes, some of the Batmobile sections in the game, some people love them, some people hate them, you know, it's a bit divisive, but who cares? You're freaking Batman, you get to glide around the city as the Dark Knight and blow up stuff in a Batmobile? What is not to love? Ahoy mateys! Scrub the poop deck. At number seven, we have Sea of Thieves. <laughs> okay, enough of my terrible pirate um, accent there. But Rare's pirate adventure that's all about making a ton of fun and a ton of memories on a huge adventure with your friends. The game had a bit of a rough start when it launched, but now it is just bursting with treasure for you to discover. No pun intended, there actually is a load of treasure for you to, to discover. Team up with your crew of jolly buddies and hunt for treasure, battle ghost ships, and maybe even, if you're up to the task, take down the giant kraken. Just be ready for lots of laughs and a few mutinies along the way and get your bucket ready to be chucking out water as inevitably at some point your ship will be taking on water and sinking in the middle of nowhere, which seems to happen to me all the time. This game is fun single player, but it really comes alive on multiplayer. So jump in with three of your friends and have an absolute blast. Rolling in at number six is Fallout da -da 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 -da. 4. Yes, I picked Fallout 4. This game takes you to post-apocalyptic Boston and is aged like a fine nuka cola. With the world at Fallout fever pitch right now, thanks to the Fallout series on Amazon Prime, the game has got a new next-gen patch, so Fallout 4 is looking better and performing better than ever, even though when the patch first released it pretty much broke the game, but still, it is working now, so it's the perfect time to jump in. So whether you're new to the series or a veteran wastelander, there's never been a better time to dive in. 
Plus, nearly all Fallout games are available on Game Pass, so you can binge the whole series and get absolutely up to speed with everything that's going on. Or if not, Fallout 4 is honestly just fantastic to jump into, and it's a pretty wicked storyline as well. Trust me, I don't want to spoil anything for you because it just kicks off right away, it's fantastic. Jump in and thank me later. Coming in at number 5, we have the legendary Skyrim. The game has been around since 2011, can you believe that? But it is just an absolute staple of the open world game genre. Whether you're slaying dragons, joining the Dark Brotherhood, or just stealing sweet rolls, Skyrim never gets old. And with a ton of mods available for Xbox, you can customize your adventure to your heart's content. Number four on this list goes to probably the greatest gaming comeback story of all time. Some of you may say that is cyberpunk, but I think it is No Man's Sky. This space exploration game had a really rocky start when it launched, but it has since transformed into an absolutely stellar space adventure game. Now, it's everything we hope for and more, as you can explore vast alien worlds, build bases, and embark on epic space voyages. And let's get real, the art style and the graphics, the game just looks absolutely stunning. If you're into your in-game photography, you'll be having a blast in this game as it is just an absolute dream to look at. If you're looking for a game that offers endless exploration, No Man's Sky is just the ticket for you. Number three on the list is a relatively new entry to Game Pass and when it did arrive, it absolutely blew up. And this game is Palworld. I don't know if it's as popular now, I think the hype may have died down, but a game that's kind of like Pokemon with guns, what's not to love? I was really hyped about this game when it launched and it did not disappoint, but it was much, much more than I actually expected, as the game is a bit of a wild mix of survival, exploration and monster catching. You need to manage your base, take care of your monsters and fend off enemies. It's still in early access, so expect some bugs here or there, but it's already an absolute blast to play and one I thoroughly recommend. Now, I need to be honest, I've not played this game for a little while, so I better log in just to check that all my pals are actually not dead. Revving up and absolutely tearing around the corner into the number two spot is Forza Horizon 5, the game that takes open world racing to a whole new level. Now this game is absolutely beautiful, set in stunning Mexico, that's Mexico if you cannot understand my accent, Forza Horizon 5 offers a diverse and stunning map to race around, with the mix of realistic visuals and absolutely heart pounding arcade style gameplay is honestly just car racing arcade perfection. Whether you're competing in events or just cruising around the map, just checking out the sites, the game is an absolute joyride you do not want to miss. And it's probably one of the best games available on Xbox, period. Never mind open world games only, it is just that good. Also check out Forza Horizon 4 where you can cruise around the UK, it's fantastic also. And Forza Horizon 3 was my first entry into the Horizon series. I don't know if you can still buy this one, you might be able to pick up a physical copy but it is set in Australia and it is also absolutely beautiful. Roll on Forza Horizon 6 please Xbox. Drum roll please, at number one we have the king of open world games which never seems to die and only seems to get bigger and bigger each year and that one is Minecraft. As you can imagine, you've probably already played this or if you haven't, there's no game at all really that encourages creativity and exploration quite like Minecraft. You can literally build anything you can imagine, explore vast worlds, survive against the elements and all the bad guys which come out at night to try and kick your ass. The possibilities are endless and that's what makes Minecraft the ultimate open world game on Xbox Game Pass. Whether you're a builder, an explorer, or a redstone engineer, Minecraft has something for absolutely everybody. 
That's not the only incredible open world games on Game Pass, there is a ton of them, which I've probably missed out, so let me know some in the comments you think deserve to make it onto this list. And hey, maybe next time I will do the top 20. But let me know which ones you're diving into first from this list. And since the YouTube algorithm knows you better than anyone, it thinks you will love this next video on screen now, so why not click it and check it out.